Cancer, I hope you're all doing well. We're going to get into your general reading and see what's going on with you. Sorry if there's cat hair kind of all over me. I hope not. I tried to lint roll myself, but just did a reading and Pixel was doing her thing. Okay. <laughs> so weird introduction, but I feel like You don't need to explain yourself to anyone. I just cut on the five of swords there. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. This is for the Cancer Collective. I'm hearing I missed you. I did miss you, but I'm hearing I missed you. I, or I miss you. Is someone going to ask you to explain yourself while telling you they miss you? That'd be kind of strange. Okay. Uh, cancers. This is for the Cancer Collective Spirit Guides. If this isn't your message, that's cool. I got a Cancer playlist. You can check that out. Or maybe I'm not your reader, or this just isn't your channel or your message. Um, if it does resonate, there will be an extended, and you can check that out. Link is in the description box below. Okay, two more shuffles for Cancer, please. going on for cancer hmm. it's weird because it, as if you've been here for a while you know I read reversals but for some reason I'm wanting to turn the cards around like right side up but I'm hesitating. So I feel like it's almost like not sure of which way to look at something. And I don't know if this is happening yet, but it feels like something's going to happen here. Uh, and it, you, you're going to see, you don't know how to perceive the situation or you're going to see all different sides of it or there's two ways to see it. Okay, what are we talking about here? Yeah, it's like, which way does the card go? I don't know. It's strange. Okay. The world at the bottom. I'm hearing you're discovering something new about yourself here in this situation. For some reason, Cancer, I feel like we're talking about something that's going to happen. And, and I, my approach is usually to talk about your current state and offer some guidance. But I feel like this is a little bit predictive for some reason. A sad face, the letter L, the letter F, the letter Y, Capricorn, the letter R. We have sport, uh, 10, 10, a clock with 10, 10. It's like something's happening soon here. Maybe in the next 10 days, maybe at 10 o'clock at night. 10 weeks from now, something, uh, the 10th month, which is November, right? No. <laughs> yeah. But I'm hearing December too. I'm hearing Scorpio, uh, Capricorn, a starfish, Libra, Taurus, and Aries. Let's get uh, a couple more. An angel, the smiley face, the letter O. This is a, a faded event, okay? Your guides are with you. They're with you. Let me say it again. Your guides are with you. You're not alone. You're not alone in whatever is happening now, and you're not going to be alone when this happens, whatever this is. It could be good. It could be something challenging. I feel like it's going to bring some challenges out here. Um, there's something a little bit surprising. A heart with a nurse hat on it. Uh, and a caduceus. This is like a, uh, something that's going to heal you, though. An event that's going to bring some healing for you in a situation. Okay, interesting. Energy, Cancer. Oh, yeah, I was going to use these cards, too. So let's look at this. Your current energy is the Ten of Cups, but originally it came out in reverse. And then we have the Empress. Uh as something that's going to surprise you looking over at the Ten of Cups, like, what's that? What's this over there? There's something that you thought made you happy 
okay? Or maybe it did make you happy, but you're reconsidering it. It's like you're seeing something in it from a different angle, from a different way, a different light. It's something's not looking the same as it used to. Water. You're having a new perception on something because you've either discovered something or you have an intuition about something. Maybe there was a dream you had that's affected you deeply. For some of you, something seems too good to be true, the star. For others of you, it's like you realize that whatever was making you happy um, was interfering with some kind of healing you were doing. Mushroom. It's almost like a, a magic, hmm. Had it worked, had this thing that made you happy kind of taken away pain or just turned out flawlessly, it's almost like it would have been the magic solution. I'm not even sure what this is all about, what I'm talking about, um, like the storyline. So I'll let you piece it together and I'm just gonna read the energy. It could be about anything love, career, friends, an aspect of yourself that you're understanding in a different way. Something that made you happy is no longer making you happy, okay? And it's like you're looking at your past self like, what were you doing there? What were you doing over there? <laughs> there was some kind of illusion I feel involved, like self-illusion. Um, spirit... I'm hearing move, keep going. Okay. So something that's going to surprise you, the Empress. You may be getting messages here, omens, signs. Uh, I'm seeing somebody with a big tribal tattoo on their arm. Okay. Tell me more about this Empress for what's going to surprise Cancer. The Ten of Swords. It's like you look at the Ten of Cups now like it's your Ten of Swords. What happened? Ace of Pentacles. And I'm seeing this little bird has a key in its mouth. You've received some information or some intuition here. You've received something. Maybe there's a new opportunity for you, but the high priestess. No, I feel like it's intuitively, you know uh, that something can't fulfill you or something's falling short. It's just not right. It just doesn't feel right anymore. Justice. And this, this feeling that you're having that this just is not right. Something's up. Something's wrong. I don't, you know, this is being guided. The angel with the happy face. You might feel upset with the sad face, but <laughs> your angel is your guides. Spirit is awakening you to some reality here in your life. You could do better, okay? Yeah, it's almost like a settling here. Five of Cups, exactly. It's like Spirit saw you upset here with a situation. Upset with a person, upset with a job, whatever. Upset with some course of action you were taking in your life. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to have to death. We're going to have to wake cancer up here. And send them some dreams, send them some omens, give them some intuitive message, intuitive hits here, a new opportunity, whatever it takes to create a transformation here, three of swords, so that cancer can get out of this pain they're in. This might not be your message because it feels specific and it feels very um, strong. Like there's not a lot of room for... Could be this, could be that, could be this <laughs> in this message. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, yeah. The eye. You've seen something. You know something. Arrow. Blood. Yeah, and I was going to say that with Arrow. It's like, it hurts. Don't get me wrong. It hurts right now. It hurts. I mean, when you wake up and you're like, holy shit, my Ten of Cups is actually Ten of Swords, that's going to hurt. 
it's almost shocking this could have already happened here uh, and if this message feels like it's bringing you anxiety don't watch it you know this should be something that provides you confirmation and it, I don't feel like it's anybody does something to suddenly change your view of them if it hasn't happened if this you know this realize it's not like somebody does something and now you see no no, no. this is like you just suddenly see things differently. You piece something together. You just have a feeling here. Like, it's like you feel like you got to protect yourself here and your new beginning and your new life. Skull, scarab, there's a transformation here. I feel like something massive in your life is ending. It could even be a house that you loved. And then it's all of a sudden it's like, I'm really unhappy in this neighborhood. You know, I don't know, something. You get brave here too. Okay. So let's see what's ending. The three of wands. Or is this the three of swords? But didn't I already see the three of swords? No, it's the Three of Wands, sorry. Yeah, we saw the Three of Swords. Three of Wands. See, the Three of Wands talks about having a vision for the future or waiting for things to materialize that you've been envisioning. You know, the saying, waiting for your ships to come in. You know, it's like whatever you're envisioning for yourself, you're standing there hopeful for that vision to happen. But look at this Three of Wands. It's like this vision has been all tangled up. There's birds squawking. It's kind of chaotic. They're like trapping themselves here. Uh, you could have been dealing with three difficult people or maybe four difficult people. There's a lot of noise, a lot of chaos. And it's it was interfering with your vision for the future. This could be colleagues. We could also be talking about multiple things here happening for you at the same time. Okay, and I feel like um, that that's ending. That noise that was blocking your vision. And I feel like there is some energy there that was standing in the way of you and like your path. Maybe not intentionally. Okay, but it wasn't, th this energy is not doing you any favors here. Uh, can we get some, I'm hearing keys. Can we get some keys on that? Okay, <laughs> sweet, S-U. Uh, the summer might have been a good time with this energy or you could have been feeling hopeful in the summer. Ten of cups in the summer and things are shifting now as we go into the winter. S-U-K-J, a moon with the letter M as well. Saturn the letter S again, the letter D, the letter E, a wolf, the letter V, and the letter H. We've got a lot of letters there. Okay, so those could be initials here. I'm also seeing uh, almost spelling house. I'm seeing deserted. We don't have all the letters for it, but it's what it's coming to mind when I look at them message as well with Saturn showing up you know this is some karmic event here in your life this ending as well as your time spent with this energy that was blocking your vision okay so uh, there's a big lesson in this for you. What's the sweet about? Butterfly and a message. The 
hangman and strength. Cancer, I feel like you are a very loving, sweet, kind person and you could handle this situation in a million different ways that would be very sweet and nice. But you're going to be standing your ground with something. You're going to be stronger uh, in your approach with, I'm hearing, non-acceptance. With not accepting something. You've had a new perspective. Yeah. Okay. Ten of Wands. I feel like your, your, your pincers might come out a little bit here. Okay, let's see. What's beginning here for Cancer? We have the Two of Cups. Lovely. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. But see, look, it's like there's a skull here. They're kind of like caressing this skull as well. It's like something needs to definitely die and decay and end uh, for this energy, for this union to come through. And we have the Six of Swords. I feel like you're going to get into a new relationship or a new friend is going to come into your life or something new is happening. Um, is it new? What's going on here? What is going on here, Cancer? Tell me more about this Two of Cups. For some of you, I see you talking to somebody from the past. Maybe it's a past friend or a past connection. Cauldron, it's something, um, it's interesting, hold on. Now, if that doesn't resonate with you, cool. But uh, harp and hand. You know there's somebody here that could help you move through this difficult energy and you're going to gravitate towards that person. And I don't think this is a person that you're currently connected to. Maybe it's almost like the energy of a rebound. <laughs> hmm. This is weird because moving away from this situation is going to be difficult here for you and you know that and it's almost like you're uh looking for a distraction of some sort it could be a friend it doesn't have to be like you're you know it could be anything here but it's familiar to you it's not new it doesn't feel new nine of pentacles yes because you don't want to commit to anything else like you don't want to make a new commitment and find out that that's something you don't want you want to maintain your independence so you're going to be connecting with someone or something that you already are familiar with so you can feel like you're in control of a situation the lovers yeah and what's going to happen here king of swords With the Eight of Swords. Be careful with this, Cancer, because I have a feeling you're approaching something in kind of in a light way. You know, this could be like, I don't know, you're calling someone up. I don't know, but it's going to turn into something a little bit more serious than you think. Yeah, Page of Wands. You're approaching this kind of like carefree. This could even be like a new job. Oh, I'll just work here for a couple months. I'll just do this. I'll just move here temporarily to this place and then I'll figure it out. Or I'll just call up this person and go on a date with them. Or I'll just give my ex-friend another chance. You know, something like that. Like no big deal here. I'm dealing with something difficult and I need some new energy in my life, but not that new because I don't want to lose in myself in someone else or something else. I need to maintain some independence here. But it turns out to actually be very serious. Wow, this is an interesting reading, huh? <laughs> okay. Your advice is the queen of... I'm hearing the queen of pages. I'm trying to say the queen of wands. 
but I heard the queen of pages. Are you the queen of pages? Are you dealing with a lot of pages? I feel like you might be inviting some page energy into your life because it seems non-threatening. If that resonates, be careful with that. Queen of Wands is your advice. You could have anyone or anything that you want at this point. It's like you're giving someone a chance here. See this bird, like it's like dying and she's, she's um, giving it a star on a string, kind of like fishing it. I don't know. It's like, I'll give you another chance. I'll help you heal. Or maybe, I don't know, we could reconnect this. But do you see how big that freaking bird is? Like when that bird takes that star and gets out of the water, it's something to contend with. At this moment in time, it's not. It's not a threat, but it will be, okay? So if you've disconnected from someone in the past and now you're thinking, oh, maybe I'll just like, you know, call them up and distract myself. That's risky. The emperor, you see? Cancer, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this reading is uh, interesting though. Um, I don't feel like a lot of people are going to resonate with this. It's a warning for sure. Pipe. <laughs> I'm hearing sometimes it's just a pipe, which is some, a quote from Freud who saw everything as like a phallus, right? I feel like that's a message there. It's like sometimes it's just a pop it. Interesting. Sometimes it's just a pipe and you're like, sometimes it's, yeah, there's something you're not seeing. Okay. There's something you're not seeing and it has a lot of power, it has more power than you're realizing. And I feel like this power is uh, something that you might not want to actually deal with. So don't distract yourself from this transition, from this healing with something from the past don't do it even if it's like a past job oh i think i'll go back to that workplace do, whatever it is don't do, like well you can do whatever you want but spirit's definitely warning you here rat yeah yeah yep, yep. it's like you're gonna give an acorn but you're not gonna realize it's gonna grow into this huge situation this huge tree some somebody wants something that you have and you're about and it's like you you they're gone anyways right now like they're not a concern but you're about to give it to them like it's like and this person feels like it's like they've been waiting for this they've been waiting for this opportunity it's like almost like they've been waiting for you to be vulnerable i don't know who's coming towards who is cancer connecting or is the other person judgment five of swords i feel like you're you're looking at them like maybe i'll reach out ten of pentacles but it's not because you you have some long-term vision with this person you kind of already see the shadiness of this character but there's something you're underestimating okay um let's see nine of swords for what can manifest from this situation in the next three months Well, you realize that you got more than you bargained for here. Hat. This person's wearing a different hat. You know, this person wears many hats. Ribbon. Um, let's see. Herb. And I. I feel like this person uh, will play the role for you that you're hoping they do. Okay. Page of Swords. But it's not real. They're deceptive about something. 
okay? The star, and it says, a hunting we will go. A hunt, and you were feeding them the star. See, it's like this person has been hunting for your energy, if not you particularly, someone like you, you know, like I'm hunting for this person, for this energy. Um, and here you come just handing them the star. They don't even have to ha hunt for it. You're just like, uh, hi, <laughs> here you go. And it's like they see the opportunity, they take the opportunity, but it's not really telling me what the devil. They're not really telling me what's going to happen here, but oh, the devil here, the phantom of the opera, it's like the mask here. So let's get some, um, well, let's go into the extended. I want to know who this person is from your past, okay? Let's really dig into them and their intentions and what's going on here. And then like how, how you can avoid this situation. But for those of you who don't come to the extended, I do want to get some advice for you. Uh, and I feel like the advice is stay present. You know, even if something's hurting you in another situation, stay present with that pain. Try to work through it. There's healthy distractions and there's unhealthy distractions. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. Seek out um, solace with spirit rather than someone from the past. Any other messages for them? Memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world, for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. But remember, it's a spirit world. I feel like there's certain memories that you have with this person that you feel are something maybe you want to experience again. Um, Well, I'm hearing you're going to have to figure it out for yourself, new beginnings, whether you want a new beginning or whether you want to go back in time and deal with something that you're potentially could harm you in some way or take you by surprise, <laughs> you know, mess up your plans, put you in this cycle that you don't want to be in. All right, Cancer, I love you so much. Um, let's go to the extended and, and see what's going on here. I'll see you next time.